Welcome back to Houston Live. Houston Restaurant Weeks is in its 20th year, and with more than 300 participating restaurants, they are hoping to make it the biggest year yet. And it's truly the best time to dine out because you can taste some of the most delicious menus, all at special prices, and it all, of course, benefits the Houston Food Bank. That's why Lauren Kelly is at Warehouse 72. That's in the Marquee Center this afternoon. She's there with a taste of their special Restaurant Weeks menu. It looks so good. Hey, Lauren. <laughs> We're just saying, literally, it's as hot as an oven back here, but that's because we're in the kitchen at Warehouse 72, literally in front of the big fire oven. This is so amazing. If you guys don't know where Warehouse 72 is, right here in the Marquis Center, they've been open for four years now, and the dishes on their menu are absolutely incredible. Before we get to those, I want to start with President and CEO of the Houston Food Bank. Brian, thank you so much for being here. I've been a part of Houston Restaurant Weeks for so long. For viewers who don't know about it, kind of give us a rundown of how it works. So Houston Restaurant Weeks is Houston's uh, uh, opportunity to accomplish a couple of things. First off, August is normally the slowest time of the year for restaurants, and so you've got all the waste staff, the cooks, bus, everybody, like, they're trying to stay afloat, and this is a great way to support your local employer, employers and employees, but it is a great opportunity to get a great discount on a meal and support Houston Food Bank at the same time. So you go to HoustonRestaurantWeeks.com. And you can go select from, uh, there's about 300 participating high end. These are great fine dining restaurants. And you can select, okay, what restaurant I wanna go to for what meal. For lunch, these are 25 deal, $25 prefix menus. Right, right, right. Um, and uh, $3 goes to the food bank when you do that. And then for dinner, you've got your choice of a $49 um, or a or $39 or $55 um, menus. Yeah. And then those five or $7 then goes to the food bank. And this is all done by the Cleverly Stone Foundation. And we absolutely love it. It has become the largest fundraiser every year for Houston Food Bank. And also this has turned what is for many restaurants used to be the hardest time of the year to stay afloat, one of their best months of the year. We sure do miss Cleverly Stone. What an entrepreneur for the restaurant business. And that's what her foundation really has come to, to carry on her legacy through Houston Restaurant Week. So this year for the 20th anniversary, you guys are trying to hit a pretty good goal. Yeah, I got to say, you know, her, her daughter, Katie Stone, has been an absolute asset to this, this community. Her energy, her creativity. I mean, this, this is the highest number of restaurants we've ever had. You go to that website, it's absolutely beautiful. Um, the participation, the, the what the restaurants are doing, we've never had it better. Amazing. Take advantage. Absolutely. All right, I have to come over to Chef Jaime Salazar. Man, what you have been showing us today on the Houston Restaurant Foods uh, Week's menu here at Warehouse 72 is absolutely amazing. I don't think I've ever seen bone marrow on a lunch menu ever before. No, so we uh, decided to participate last year as well, and bone marrow was one of the most popular items we had. So here we have a roasted bone marrow with a piquillo uh, chimichurri, it's a piquillo pepper. Um, we serve it with a little bit of baguette, uh, as well as our fried mozzarella over okay, here. Okay, so when you, I, I love a good fried mozzarella. Like, that is my favorite appetizer to order everywhere. And those look pretty big, a lot bigger than the normal ones I'm used to. Yes, yeah, so we actually make our own mozzarella in-house. Oh. Um, and we actually decided to participate in Houston Restaurant Weeks in 2019 when we first opened Warehouse 72. And we were making about 120 pounds of mozzarella a week. That was just my own my own <laughs> order. It's fine. I'll get back to the other customers for sure. But of course, we have to bring it back. We have it. Uh, it's on our regular menu as well as restaurant week menu. So it's probably one of the most popular. Uh, for the lunch menu, we also have a lasagna that you can come enjoy. And then a garden salad uh, that is done with a green goddess dressing. It's really nice for the summer. And then I did want to talk about our let's, s'mores. Let's get, let's get on to the s'mores. National S'mores Day was yesterday, but you have something very special here. These come out frozen? Correct. So we call these our frozen s'mores, and okay. what we do is actually graham cracker crust on the bottom. Okay. We do chocolate ice cream, and then, of course, some uh, marshmallow on top. And a little torching. And the best part is we torch it. Now, <laughs> we normally don't do this table side, but you guys will be able to see some of the action here. So you've taken out the, the hangar and the, the campfire, and you've just done it yourself in the back. Yeah, you know, and because of the weather lately, it's just so <laughs> right, hot. So, so these hot. are literally my favorite dessert, and I always recommend the portion is just right. Yeah. It's the right amount of chocolate and everything. And, I mean, Texas is hot like 12 yeah. months out of the year. So. A perfect dessert. Yeah, perfect yeah. dessert and your meal. Well, Chef, thank you so much for the demonstration. The menu looks amazing. Brian, thank you for all the info. 
It's been wonderful. It's been Everybody, wonderful. get out there and get support your out. local restaurant. Dine out and do good. Of course, Dine for a Cause, Houston Restaurant Week's going through September 4th. All the info is up at HoustonLife.tv. I can smell the torch s'mores, and it, I mean, I just want to pick it up, but I probably shouldn't do that because that actually has to go out to a table now, Derek and Tessa. That's not my order. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay. Touch Thank it, and then they have to give it to us. That's true. Okay. If you lick it, then you have to eat it. I, I'm just saying. I've, I've seen that trick before. Lauren Kelly, thank you so much. It really is a phenomenal effort. Yes. A great sure. reminder to get out and enjoy some great meals around yes. town for a great cause. All right.